Hi, this is Brian Sun. I'm a senior consultant at Red Hat, which is company known for its Red Hat Enterprise Linux server, RHEL, also millions of other open source project contribution. We contribute to container, Kubernetes, cloud, middlewares, Apache, and many other things. As for me, I'm an RHCSA, Red Hat Certified System Administrator, and also Red Hat Certified OpenShift Specialist. I also write for opensource.com and the Red Hat Developer Blog and Enable System Admin Blog. So if you're interested, please check it out. In this video, I'm going to talk about a really cool open source, open source tool called LeafGuestFS. It basically gives you the power to manage any virtual machine image with this tool. It's a collection of tools, but it is very, very powerful and useful. So let's go check it out. So LeafGuestFS is a set of tools to assess and to modify virtual machine images. With this tool, you can edit files, script changes, perform backups, and pretty much anything else. LeafGuestFS can assess almost any disk imaginable. Not just supporting Fedora, CentOS, RHEL, but it also supports Ubuntu and Debian. You can also use this in the Mac and then also Windows environment, but you need to set up virtual machine environment. In the later, I'm going to show you how to do that. It's an open source tool. There's a member of virtualization tools known as the BERT tools. It includes QEMU, Levert, KVM, etc. So when you go to livegsfs.org, you can find out how to install EVSFS as well as a number of other things. It gives you an idea what you can do with the tool, give it in your description, and it gives all the documentation you pretty much need. So LeafGuestFS is part of a virtualization tool or BERT tools. It includes QEMU, KVM, LeVert, or so LeafGuestFS. So please go check it out at vert-tools.org. So LeafGuestFS website has extensive documentation giving you the each documentation and the property and all kinds of things you can do with each tool. Again, LeafGuestFS is a collection of tools, utility files. So when you click each one of them, you can find extensive documentation detailing what you can do with each tool. So please go check it out. So first thing is that before going starting further is that we need to set up some progress environment. You need to have a Linux environment if you don't have a server already. You can set up virtual machine environment using the QEMU or VirtualBox. First thing option is QEMU is a part or the part of the virtualization tools family, virtual tools. You can go there and do the download. Whether you're using Linux, Mac OS, or Windows, you can set up the environment and follow the instruction. Second option, which I'm actually using here, is I'm using VirtualBox. It's a free. And so you can go there and you can download it. And for the, for like, for example, Linux, I'm using Fedora. So I'm downloading the Fedora iOS images. And then, so basically I can set up the RAM and then give it some storage option, as you see. So basically following follow in this instruction, you can set up Fedora environment, whether you're using Mac or Windows, you can still run the environment there. And so this will be the environment for you to go and test. So second thing is uh, you need a, you know, I, VM images. Here's a website. You can go there and you can find different images available, centers, rail, Ubuntu, and etc. So here's example for centers, which I'm using as one example. You can go there and go and download it and then basically save the file and then it's going to be queued cow to image. Or if you have Red Hat subscription, you can download Red Hat and a part of Linux uh, image using also queued cow too. You can go there and then go to product and services and there's going to be downloaded link. When you go there, select um, for the we want is some Red Hat and a prior Linux server. So we're going to select that. And then you can change, change the version to the latest version, 7.8, for example because it's a stable version, and you can download the QCOW2 image right there. 
and let's go set up installing LiveGuestFS. So here's an example using the Fedora, which is using YAM, YAM Package Manager, but you can also use it for um, Ubuntu Debian with the apt get install. So when you do YAM install, if everything everything set up correctly with the YAM package management, you should be able to download it. If you want to skip the option for prompting for yes or no, you can just add a hyphen Y options to skip the step. Otherwise, everything should be done automatically just by typing Y and should be good to go. So one thing is that when you try to learn some of the modification and very customized, you will see an error, something like this. So you need to set up some for configuration file because something come in like very customized is trying to learn it as with the virtual machine by spinning it out. So you need to modify a file called uh, etc slash revert slash qmu.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.conf.
because that this is actually take the entire information and put it into the uh, output file to give you more information and insight about the the virtual machine itself. So this is going to be a little really longer waiting step, but we can just uh, get a, a cup of coffee or tea or maybe snack and wait for a while to get the information processed. But it's not going to take uh, like you know hours or thirty minutes. It's just going to take a few minutes to process it. Again, you can wait for a while and see. But again, this is going to not take too much time, even for rail images. But I'm going to just do it for this CentOS because just this is a lengthy process. A little longer and almost done. There you go. So this gives you full metadata information format and then you can see all kinds of information you need about the virtual machine. Again, feel free to explore this command on your own. It's a pretty powerful tool. But what we are really interested in is how to customize images and one of the things you can do with the BERT hyphen customize. So for example, even for like something like Red Hat and a part Linux server, it's really hard to change the root password, but BERT, uh, BERT leave guest FS with the verse customize really give it an easy way to do that. So it's really simple. Basically you add a BERT hyphen customize and then hyphen A and add the image and you can just pass hyphen hyphen root hyphen password with the password with the root password you want to set. This basically change the root password and it's pretty fast process. Again, this is especially powerful if you think about it, if you use Red Hat Enterprise and Red Hat Enterprise Linux server before. Changing the root password kind of require require lengthy process and understanding, but this gives you an easy way to change the root password or username or anything like that just with this, just passing a simple command, one line command. So next time when you use and deploy this virtual machine, you will be able to use this as a root password. It's pretty cool. Done. So the last thing we want to show you is that there are many things you can do is how you can install or pre-install a package using the package management system. Because because if you want to customize and ship it with Java, Git, those things, it's going to be very, very powerful. This is going to take a little while because it actually required downloading. For something like CentOS and Fedora, those are like, you know, open source um, IS or virtual machine image. So it already set up with some pre-configured package management. But something like this require, like if something like a rel require, um, sub, um, basically you need to set up subscription manager and those things. So those require a little different setup. But for I'm using CentOS image, so it's going to take a little easier. Again, this is going to take a little longer than the previous one because it's actually installing the package. But pretty much you can do install Tomcat, Java, and many other things to do with it. So now if I do try to do for the rail images, it's slightly different because rail image require the package management setup using subscription manager. So if you just run it without just pre-fresh rail image, you will not be able to do that. It's going to give you a drawing error saying that you need to set up the pack yum repo first using subscription manager. So that's going to be error you're going to get. So again, you need to do some, some pre-configuration before doing that. There are some additional things you can do, but feel free to explore. But that's it. As you can see, RevGuestFS is a very powerful tool that let you manage and subscribe and do many things with it, manage virtual machine images. 
feel free to explore and then be sure to subscribe to this channel to get more information and then other videos, tutorial videos with open source project and Red Hat products and then programming tools and things like that. Thank you for watching and hopefully, hopefully see you next time.